Hello and welcome to another episode of Lemur's Corner. I am Lemur and today guys it is the week of arc. It is 11-3. As you can see on my screen it's 11-2. However this is going on 11-3 and it's going to cover the week of arc leading up to last week's video right after that. So basically guys we're going to cover a lot of things. I've got all the patch notes up. We've got a new community crunch, arc digest, all kinds of fun stuff and stuff from Jeremy. We've got some good news, bad news, and some news on the side. So let's go ahead and jump right into the patch notes. There were a couple patches that came out. Um, three of them are going to be the exact same. Those being that the Halloween event came out. Some of you saw that video. I was letting you guys know. I tried to announce it, let you guys know in advance. However, it seems like uh, people wanted to know what it was about, and I just kind of gave you guys the best nutshell I could, giving it up there. Also, if you guys didn't see on PC, you probably can still run your Halloween beta. I don't know if you can or not. I haven't tested it, but there was a way to uh, activate it on, on officials. And that's right here in front of you. You have to activate it and do all these steps right down here. As I said, I will always link that to the description down below. They also fixed some stuff on here. One thing is they fixed some of the proper haircuts and all that kind of stuff on there. And Daedons no longer heal titanosaurs. Uh, there was also the fixed plant species Y, passively losing HP and all that kind of stuff. So some basic fixes going on on the PC version. Nothing crazy. No upcoming as far as we know what's going on with that or anything of that nature. So that's what happened recently on PC. If you look at PS4, basically you guys got were the the curse, uh, the Halloween event. They said it's 48 hours only. However, they don't show the end update. So I'm guessing that it is still technically active right now. I do not know. I haven't checked on it. And in Xbox, you guys can see you guys got that also too. Uh, also, if you guys have not known, if you buy the pass for the season pass, you guys get two special skins, helmets, the Reaper helmet and the Pug mask. Uh, right now only EU has that on PS4. I don't think it's active on Xbox yet. And for PC, it's anyone who has purchased that. So you guys get that stuff on there too. So if you guys want to get those, you guys can just buy the Season Pass. It gets you all the free downloads and updates and all that kind of fun stuff on there. So with all that concluded, um, I do want to talk about Xbox again really quick. And, and we're going to catch up with what's going on with this cert and when it's supposed to come out. So we'll go ahead and talk about that. And let's go ahead and jump into... The Arc Digest, Community Crunch, and the Mystery Dinosaur. The Mystery Dinosaur is actually kind of crazy. It kind of looks like a giant rat that's been mutated into like a worm-like rat, but it definitely has a rat face, rat tail, rat legs, and feet and stuff. So uh, that's kind of nifty how it looks like that. So we can't really tell what it is, but I definitely think it looks like a rat of some sort. Also, if you guys did not know, Arc is trying to, uh, the first year they raised a ton of money for the Extra Life is what it's called. It's a tw They're going to do a 24-hour stream. It's for the Children's Miracle Network Hospitals. I don't know if I will necessarily be watching that. I might watch it prior to League of Legends uh, World Championships on Saturday because it's going on on Saturday the 4th. So those of you who are wondering, that is also on on Saturday the 4th. That starts at 1.30 in the morning for those of you who are wondering. Also, um, you guys can get in there. You guys can donate, do all kinds of stuff. They're going to do new content. They're going to expose some new content on there, so I might watch it or at least catch up on it and try to figure out what the new content is that's coming out and everything cool of that nature. They're going to show some all kinds of cool stuff. But as I said, they also had the Halloween event. You guys can see that here. They talked about it. It was only for 48 hours. I wasn't overly happy with that. They normally do it for about a week, and then they decided to do it for 48 hours. It really wasn't that great. They did it during the week of all things, too. I, I don't know why they chose to do that why they chose to do it in that weather but it is what it is so then we're going to talk about xbox server rentals this is what we were talking about that we were going to talk about at the end of the xbox patch what the upcoming one is you guys see here they said it was supposed to come out wednesday november 1st it's the second still not out still not rentable so my guess is they'll either try to get it out tomorrow and it's going to have all kinds of problems because normally when they try to post stuff on fridays it never works out well or the other option is going to be that they come out on Monday the next week on the 6th, which is what they originally announced. So um, they've missed another date. As we talked about last time, they really need to cut that out and stop giving these dates when they can't meet them. So they need to give us dates that they're going to meet. And I think that's the biggest thing. Also, if you guys did not know, the Yarks Collector's Edition, which I have got personally, if you guys want to see what comes in it, there's a link that's going to shoot up as a card in the top right. You guys can check that out. You can also check it out in the description down below. But basically, you guys can buy that without buying the game at all. Uh, and you don't have to buy anything of that nature. You can get the season pass, which I technically have for my Xbox already, but I'm going to get that also. And you can get all that fun stuff on there for you guys and get out of the cool things, speak of the poster. And the big cool thing, I think the coolest thing is definitely the map and the booklet of all the dossiers. It's really, really cool, and I really suggest it if you guys can do it. Uh, there was a weekend sale. I'm not going to go into it too much because obviously that's over. That was over on the 30th. The weekend sale is over. 
on that one. I will try to announce that next time when it comes out to shoot a quick five minute video or whatever, two minute, one minute video, whatever to let you guys know. However, there was a Art Digest, so this is where they got to talk to um, Jeremy Stiglitz. He's also the Twitter guy I go to all the time, that we have all the stuff. Uh, they're trying to do Tribe Own personally in Force Vaults. They're saying by next weekend you're going to have that. So my guess is it's probably going to be two weeks from now, based on ARC's expectations that I have for them. And all that kind of fun stuff. So they're saying that they're going to have uh, different color variations for the Aberration creatures. Uh, they're going to have completely different colors and further colors and some of the same, but they're really going to try to change them up and really change things on there. It's going to be really kind of cool. Uh, other than that, there's one of the other things that they're going to have. I'm trying to find it really quick. Uh, they're trying to do Legacy Slaves available. Um, they're trying to keep it where PvE uh, does a Legacy Save so they can have them on the servers. As you guys know, it's all kind of be... Uh, uh, there's going to be a new legacies and they're going to start dropping them because the servers have gone down in quantities. I'm expecting that here within about the time of Aberration. Uh, which there's also going to be a free one-time mind wipe on all survivors upon the release of Aberration. So once it comes out, they're going to make us all mind wipe again. And you guys have to do all that kind of fun stuff and rerun everything. The next thing is they are talking about doing this later this year, but uh, they're going to say which ones spawn in the world, which ones they don't like the engram list for council players. They're saying specifically because... You don't have the ability to control which dinos are spawning, which ones aren't, how what rate they are. So they're talking about doing some of those council changes into the settings and stuff so you guys have more control. Us on PC, we can change whatever we want because we have the ability on a PC and everything. And then the last thing is, is there's going to be an arc book, Scorched Earth Creatures, Aberration Creatures, and Griffin in the future. And they said past, perhaps after the third expansion, if it goes well, which is technically the one after Aberration is what I would say, technically would be the right way to put it. The Scorched Earth was the first, Aberration's the second, and the third is going to be whatever they come out with next. So they're saying possibly the third one if it goes well. So we'll see what happens there. Uh, the other thing is, is the Fate of the Dodo Rex was now in the game officially released. It remain a holiday creature. Or do you guys have something else in mind? And they're saying they say there may be canon somewhere within the third expansion. So once again, they're alluding to that third expansion and talking about it in advance before they've even finished the second expansion. So uh, my saying is just go ahead and check out that second expansion, guys. It'd be really helpful and focus on that one, get that one out to us before Christmas. So that's where we're at for the uh, Art Digest. That's Art Digest 52 and Community Crunch 108. That is what happened on those. So now we're going to jump over to Jeremy's, who we just kind of saw from in Art Digest, and talk about a couple of his posts. Uh, very specifically, he's saying, fingers crossed, approximately November 1st, if all goes well, uh, asking if people are going to rent their servers. I'm obviously going to be doing one for everyone that watches. So if you guys are on Xbox, we'll have one of those up here soon. Hopefully sooner than later, not too late. Um, the next thing is, is they're asking, uh, there were some warnings issues on the forums. If you guys didn't know about this, they said they're going to tell them to uh, buy back off of that and work on that. But they're also saying um, all the creatures aren't out yet. They're still dropping new creatures for the Aberration dossiers, and that's where they keep dropping these question marks. We saw that one in the one video before. So that's where we're at for this one, guys. Uh, this is this week in ARC. It's been a pretty steady week. There's a lot of, we said we were going to do things, we didn't get them done. If you guys don't know my feelings about ARC in general, uh, I don't think the game's dying. You guys can check that out in the video that I'm going to link in the top right. Uh, I did that last week, and it's going to talk to you guys about what things are going on, what we're talking about, how the stats are looking for the game, and what's going on, in my opinion, and why the numbers are down, and all that kind of fun stuff. So, But those are just my opinions, as I said, and it's just really more based around, I think, Arc is a wild card's failing everyone right now. But that's this week in Arc, guys. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. As always, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up and leave those comments down below what you guys think. If you're upset about something or if you have any questions about anything that we've covered over this week, please leave them down below in the comments. And as always, guys, make sure you have a fantastic day, and we'll see you on the next episode of Lemur's Corner.